Hi again, welcome back. Briarfest unboxing. This box will be everything that I bought at the Clarion Holiday Inn Hotel. And it is quite the eclectic box of stuff, so stick with me and we'll see what we find. I'll start with probably the more common or more normal stuff. This is just a really nice donkey that I picked up. He is very yellowed but he's going to spend the winter outside in um, the sun and see if I can whiten him up. He is really dark and really nicely shaded. I think once he is whitened, he will look very nice. So he's a bit of a project for me. And the next horse is a nice shaded five gated. If you've been watching my collection, I have lots of these. I'm just addicted to the sorrel five gators. This guy has really nice eye whites. He has a really nice mane, a little tip to his ribbon and his mane. He's got a lot of rubs, but he has really beautiful shading. I'm trying to replicate a horse that was my favorite, that had beautiful shading, and I accidentally broke his ear off. So someday I will replicate him. In the meantime, I just keep buying duplicates. So next, let's go. I bought this from one of my friends out in the far end of the 300s and it's a just because he is so cute. It's a little metal bookend and he says Frank Art Ink Pat applied for. I just I just love the metal horses. I have a really cute collection of different metal horses and bookends, so he will fit in with that collection. Then I have quite a few I picked up this year, little medallions and pendants and stuff. This is, you probably can't see it on the video because he's probably too small, a Black Jack Davy pendant. It's in pottery. It was sculpted by Adelie Velasquez, and I love the pendants. This is a Christmas ornament by Lynn Fraley, I hope. I can read it says joy and I can't read the signature but it's a pottery I love the ornaments and the pottery um, pins and stuff this is another one this is Toby he's from Fall Fiesta 2006 very helpfully labeled on the back and by Des Corbett these medallions are really fun little inexpensive collectibles and I have a nice little display of them, so he will go into that display. Then I have bought this guy. This is a Bighorn Ram. He's plastic. It says Big Game Trophy Series, Bighorn Sheep, 29 cents. These were hung in 5 and 10 cent stores, Woolworths back then. The reason I bought him is A, because I love the background art, but B, a lot of model horse collectors have the little metal guys. They were made by Durant. This is Circle H Durant, Oklahoma Division of Strom Becker Corp, Chicago, Illinois. A lot of the pieces that we collect from the olden days, 40s, 50s, 60s, centers out of Chicago, Illinois area. And so I had to get this for the background art and just that cool little facet about Durant and Chicago. Um, so that's gonna be a fun little addition to my everything else collection. This is really fun. This is a puzzle, a jigsaw puzzle by Giant Guild. Can I read that? By what, a division of Whitman. The horse is called Copper Queen. And this artist that, that did this puzzle had a whole series of note cards and puzzles. This one, Copper Queen, um, her name was, I think, Rachel Ray. She had another horse, Night Hawk something witch, something along those lines. It was a dark thoroughbred racehorse. Very artistic. I love the kind of Dolly esque background with the indeterminate perspective. The horse itself isn't great confirmation, but I think it goes with kind of that unusual kind of artistic background. So I was very pleased to find this puzzle. It's not in great condition, and I don't even know if all the pieces are here, and it looks like it's gonna be a pain in the butt to put together, 
but um, I was very pleased. I don't have any of Rachel Ray's pieces in my collection, if that's her name. So I was happy to find that. Then I found this fun new artist, and unfortunately I didn't get her name, but I bought a couple of her little flat work pieces. She was out in the five, way back, the last room in the 500s, and then she did these cute little artistic, these are done with nail polish. So just some little, more little fun stuff. And I'm starting to collect these little stickers now that artists do. And I had to get a base for my Koinor because they didn't come with them from Briar. And then the last piece that I bought, this is really cool. This is Benny. He is a Hagen Renneker pottery from Southern California. And he's part of a series called Fireside Dogs. Normally, Hagen Renickers, you'll see them in kind of this scale. This is their traditional mini or their miniature line. And then you'll find some, some horses that are more like traditional line. They had a whole um, several horses in the traditional series. Then the dogs, this is from that Fireside series. So this is Benny the Dash Hound from the Hagen Renneker Fireside series. Not quite full size, but almost for a part for a dash hound puppy. Very much larger than their their standard size of pedigree dogs. So it was a mixed bag, some Hagen Renneker, some Briars, some Metals, some original art, some unusual art, some old Chicago, Illinois stuff. And we'll just say I'm an eclectic collector. So hope you enjoyed. I'll have one more um, of these videos of stuff that I bought on the way to and from Briarfest. Hope you join me. Thanks.